Welcome back. So we did have a lot of sunshine has made our way through the day today. Temperatures once again unseasonably warm with that flow in the upper atmosphere, mainly from a southerly direction, really pumping in the warm air. High temperatures today near 80 degrees. Pretty dry out there. That dew point currently at 20 degrees. So that dry air does warm up and cool down pretty quickly. We have since fallen to 68 degrees right now. Wind north northwest around 13. A dry and mild flow and the humidity at 16 percent. Here's a look at the high temperatures. So Scott's below, if you can see the warm spot near 80 degrees. The uh, orange on the map is above 80, but the yellow on the map is most everybody else. And that's highs into the 70s. 73 at Kimball, 76 at Sydney, mid 70s out toward Torrington Alliance, lower 70s out toward Gordon. Uh, temperatures have fallen uh, pretty nicely over the past couple of hours. So we're down to 68 at Scotts Bluff, uh, lower 60s, Gordon Alliance, 67 at Shadron, 64 right now, Kimball, Cheyenne, and at Sydney. So here's the winds. At the surface, they're still from a north or north northwesterly direction. Wind speeds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Some of the strongest wind gusts, uh, especially as you make your way just off to the west of Scotts Bluff, 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts. The winds are dying down. Uh, still have that red flag warning in effect from Scotts Bluff and Bridgeport, points off to the south to the Colorado border, and all of our viewers into southeastern Wyoming. Uh, that red flag warning for today does end at the top of the next hour, 7 p.m. Now, the uh, weather alerts show that we do have this high pressure system uh, basically across the western half of the country. It's giving us that southerly flow, westerly, even a little bit of a northwesterly wind, but it is a dry and mild flow for us. This low pressure system up here, that's causing all that snow that you've been seeing on the national news and into portions of the upper peninsula of Michigan, into southern Ontario, even into upstate New York. We're getting some lake effect rain from this one. A high pressure was in charge of our view, our, our forecast over the weekend. Another one is in charge. So we're just getting a good amount of sunshine, clear skies during the overnight, falling back into the lower 30s. But back to sunny skies we go through the day tomorrow. More of a westerly wind. We're going to lose that northerly component. So that's very very dry air. The dry air warms up back to highs near 80. And then going overnight uh, Thursday into Friday, lows will be milder into the low to mid 40s. And that sets up another warm day for Friday, upper 70s to maybe some areas near 80. Uh, windy westerly wind. The um, stronger the winds, the drier it will be and the warmer it can get with all that sunshine. So this is going to be our weather uh, uh, from today all the way through, uh, say, the first part of the day on Saturday. And then finally we get this low pressure system, a little bit of moisture, much cooler air on the way as we go into the weekend. So here's a look at the forecast for tonight. Clear skies and it'll be cool. Uh, temperatures falling into the mid-30s for the day for the day tomorrow. Uh, sunny skies and warm highs near 80 and for Friday mostly sunny warm warm and windy with highs near 80. For Saturday, near 80 again. Windy conditions last through the weekend. Chances for some showers Sunday into Monday, falling back into the lower 50s to start next week. And then as we go through Tuesday into Wednesday, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies, temperatures back up to near 60. So you can see we have a lot of wind to round out the work week, go through the weekend, really warm, highs near 80 in the next few days. But by the start of next week, near 50 with that moisture chance to round out the weekend and start next week. Angel. Thanks, Justin. At least half of the country is waking up to bitter cold temperatures. Dallas is on track to potentially break our record low. Here's more. A fall freeze causing chills. Weeks before Halloween, 99 million Americans under freeze alerts. This is usually like, this looks like Christmas, not Halloween. Let me eat my Thanksgiving food first. In the Midwest, temperatures plunging up to 19 degrees below average. A cold snap also hitting the East Coast and even further down south, including Dallas, where dipping temperatures require a warmer wardrobe. But I'm looking forward to it so I can wear a nice sweater. A big change from the first week of fall that almost broke triple digits in the city. At Rubel's Plants, the team taking extra care of frost-prone greenery. Is this just kind of how Texas weather rolls? Yeah, you never can't tell what you're going to get. We had Owner Mark Rubel says just a few degrees can make a huge difference, adding he would have expected this kind of forecast a month from now. So every pepper we're looking at here going indoors tonight. Yeah, we'll bring all these in just to be safe. We put up sides on the greenhouses, so well, I risk got it. it.